Capricorn, I have a reading for you. I hope this finds you well. I hope it finds you in your love and your peace and your joy. I am back. Well, I'm Amber from Mystic Eyes The Journey, and I'm back with a collective reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and really anybody that wants to connect with Capricorn's energy today. Um, so if these messages resonate with you, please like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. These are all ways that you can support me on my journey as I support you on yours. So let's get right into it. Uh, before I even hopped on here, I kept hearing the winds of change. The winds of change are on the low wind. <laughs> so I think that's going to be the basis of this reading, but we'll go ahead and see. Spirit, what do we have? for Capricorn. I'm going to get you one more. So I'm working with tarot today. Um, I do have a couple of oracle decks around here and we'll just see what happens. All right. The winds of change. Okay. So we have for you today, Capricorn, the Knight of Wands. We have the Two of Wands the Knight of Swords, the Five of Wands in reverse, an energy of avoidance, and judgment in reverse. Okay, this is interesting energy. Okay, so I do feel like you're moving towards something. We have the two quickest moving knights in the deck here. Now this can represent you and somebody else, right? Maybe, um, a fire sign and an air sign. Um, but I do feel like these are two different aspects of you, Capricorn. I feel like you've ignited passion and I feel like you've ignited intellect and logic and you're moving really, really quickly towards something. But as I'm channeling this energy, I'm seeing that these two knights are moving in opposition. So I do feel like there is a conflict here. Right, so place it as it resonates. This may be a conflict between two different people, right? One person that wants to move about things logically and one that wants to move towards things passionately, creatively, right? A, a disconnect between logic, intellect, and creativity. But I do feel like a lot of you, this isn't an internal struggle because we have this judgment card in reverse. But I'm feeling like you want to do things in a certain way. And I'm going to clarify in a little bit to see where your energy lies on this spectrum. But there is another person or another aspect of your mind, of your thinking, that is pulling you in two opposite directions, which is, I mean, look, we got the two of wands. And look at the way this two of wands is depicted. We have two rams, two Aries energy. So this knight of wands could be an Aries. But there's something that is in direct opposition, that is clashing. Two opposing energies trying to work within the same energy. Now, your energy, Capricorn, is that of five of wands in reverse. So that's an avoidant energy. That's like I know that there's a fight to be had, but I don't want to have it. You're avoiding something. Now, the issue with that, right, normally, you know, avoidance isn't necessarily a, a negative energy, but in this case, it's not working in your benefit, right? Because we have the judgment card in reverse. When it's upright, this is an energy of answering the call. This is moving towards your divine purpose. But with it in reverse, we're, we're not able to answer the call. And the reason we're not able to answer this call is because we're avoiding a conflict, this may be internal. This may be external. If it is external, it would be of somebody who is uh, lateral to you. And what I mean by lateral, think of a coworker that is has the same job position. Um, think a sibling. Think a cousin. Think somebody that is around the same age or is on your same level. But again, I, I do feel like a lot of you, this is going to be internal. I'm going to clarify from here. Can we get some energy on um, the Knight of Wands? Two of Cups. Okay. So this could be a romantic situation. 
But Two of Cups doesn't always have to be romantic. This could just be collaboration or working with someone or some sort of a connection, right? Two people working together, okay? And next to this, we have the Five of Swords. This is an energy of winning at all costs. I mean, look, this is such a beautiful depiction of the Five of Swords energy, right? We got this gloomy energy. You know, it isn't positive. There's no sun. We have this person that's defeated in the background, this person that defeated this person, but they're not happy. This is a pirate victory. And I feel like that's where the avoidance is coming in, right? Because even if you win this battle with the two of wands, you don't really want somebody to be in that energy, right? And I do feel like this is a connection that we're talking about. For the majority of you, we are talking about an outside person. This is a connection. Avoiding some sort of a battle with somebody who looks at the world differently. And I do feel like your energy here, Capricorn, is the Knight of Wands. Wanting to go towards... When I think of Wands energy, I think of entrepreneur. I, I think of a creative person. Somebody that's going to forge ahead. Aries energy, right, with this Two of Wands here. Of, I want to pave something that nobody's ever walked before. Now this could literally be nobody's ever walked this before. This could be like an invention or a brand new idea. But I do feel with this two of cups, it could be within a family system, right? Nobody's ever gone this path. Nobody's ever done this before, right? And because nobody's ever done this, we have this knight of swords energy that's like, think logically, dude. I don't know, I was gonna say think logically, bro. So I, I feel like some of you were talking about a brother here but that's not going to be for everybody. But it's like, think logically about it. Nobody's ever done this, right? And this energy moves a lot quicker, right? It's, it's aggressive, right? The Knight of Wands is aggressive too. The Knight of Wands isn't afraid to fight, but the Knight of Swords, the way this energy is coming through is it's a little reckless. Now, on the traditional Rider Waite, if you if you have a Rider Waite tarot deck, go ahead and look at the Knight of Swords. I always get a kick out of it because he's he, he's riding the horse super fast. But if you look at the horse's eyes, the eyes always kind of look back at him like, dude, what are we doing? I'm like, dang, what are we doing? Go ahead and look at it. I think it's hilarious, but <laughs> I'm getting that energy. It's like, I, I feel like this individual is even thinking like, dang, do I really need to fight this? There's some sort of a hesitancy to do that, but I do feel like this is the dynamic. What I mean by that is I feel like there's a competitive energy within this. Mm, this kind of ticks me off because I do, right, with this Five of Swords energy, it's like, even if this person agrees with you, it's like, we're so used to going against each other that I feel like I just need to go against you anyway, which is not cool. Not cool. I got the Ace of Pentacles or the Ace of Wheels in reverse. So what I'm getting with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I'm getting this energy of investment. I feel like you're putting money into something. You're investing into something. And I feel like that's where this Knight of Swords energy is coming from. Right? Like, don't... This hyper-logical, like, don't invest in this. This is a risk. Yeah, like a risky energy. We got the Empress reverse, and then we have the Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups is confusion. Nine of Cups and the Emperor. Oh, my gosh. All right. Hold on, hold on. All right, so we also have the Page of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Mm, okay. Capricorn, I feel like there are people in your life that are depending on you in some capacity, right? Whether it be financially, emotionally, I do feel like you're kind of this energy that holds everything together, holds a system of people together. So this may be a workplace, this may be a family setting, this may be um, extended family, um, nuclear family, place it as it resonates, right? This is a general reading. But again, here we have the empress in reverse and the emperor upright. I feel like you're trying to step into your power and there's an energy that kind of just has to come out of power in order for you to step into it. 
you're having to place your finances or your money somewhere else or your goals, your attention, your focus somewhere else. And I feel like there's another added energy here, okay? We, we have this energy of the two knights battling, this linear energies, but I feel like you're trying to level up. I feel like you're trying to level up into the emperor position, but there's currently an empress energy in that position, but this, there's another layer of resistance here. You got a lot of people against you right now, Capricorn, and I want you to be excited about that because anytime you're in that energy where there's a lot of people coming for you, that's because something big is about to happen. The winds of change. Something big is about to happen. We have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Whatever it is that you want to move towards, it's going to be successful and you're going to get it. You have to just answer this call. Judgment needs to come up right. Now, judgment is also an energy that the people working against you are going to have to answer to something higher than themselves for being in resistance to what it is that you're trying to do. Okay, this could be a, uh, a Taurus, a Libra. Okay, uh, Six of Wands. What it is that you're putting your effort into, right? Whatever this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, what you are investing in. Now, again, it doesn't have to be money, time, focus. Whatever you're investing in is going to pay you out. You're going to get exactly what you want, and you're going to be in this Emperor position. Don't be afraid to fight for it. Okay, now that does not mean literally fight, okay? I'm getting this energy, Capricorn, that it starts with inside of you. I'm getting that these characters that are coming against you are figments of your own resistance within yourself, your own confusion with the Seven of Cups in reverse. What should I do? What should I do? Right, whoever's coming up against you, this is a part of you. I hope that makes sense. As within, so without. Because you have this energy within you, people are able to mirror that back to you. You need to work on this internally, right? I'm getting a hermit energy here. Work on this internally and this resistance will step aside. Now, Knight of Swords is good intentions. Empress in reverse. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Knight of Swords is good intentions. So I do feel like whoever this Knight of Swords is has good intentions. Right? But they're standing in your way and they're acting as opposition. Allow yourself to be motivated to work this out internally because these people that are coming up against you are going to face judgment if they don't get out of your way. Because this is life purpose. This is divine purpose here. With the judgment card, this is divine purpose. If they don't step to the side and let you do what you need to do, they're going to face judgment. And the way to get them out of your way is to go inside of yourself and work on your own resistance to your success. Mm, okay, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to move on to Oracle. So I have a Divine Feminine Oracle. I absolutely love this deck. However, I really, really stink at um, pronouncing things in this deck especially. So please forgive me. If you know the correct pronunciation, if I screw it up, leave it down in the comments. I do love to learn. Um, and I want to be as respectful as possible to the cultures that I'm channeling this energy from. Okay. So we have Mary Magdalene. The Apostle of the Apostles. I am a bridge between heaven and earth, and I am fully human and fully divine. Ooh. Ooh, I love this energy, Capricorn. I'm not surprised that it's coming from you. Capricorn is super grounded, but super elevated, right? It's a sea goat that goes from the depths of the sea up to the highest mountain. When I think of the mountains, look, I'm, I'm thinking Zeus here. What is that, Mount Olympus? I hope that's right. <laughs> I'm thinking of you. Okay. I'm the bridge between heaven and earth. You're about to ground something. There's something that you're creating that has a spiritual basis 
this is spiritual work, but it's very, very grounded and very, very, I want to say mundane. And I don't want you to interpret that as like boring or not exciting. By mundane, I mean it's super regular, right? It's, it's something that everybody utilizes, something that everybody does. So it's like you're accessing people on a spiritual level through a very grounded means, which is going to allow people who aren't necessarily spiritual to be able to connect with their higher selves. That's beautiful because when I think of Mary Magdalene, right, I don't think it's a coincidence that in the Bible, the two Marys, it's um, the Virgin Mary, right? This pure, enlightened, angelic energy. And then Mary Magdalene, who is kind of like the embodiment of dark feminine or grounded feminine, human feminine. Right? I feel like you're taking something spiritual and grounding it. And it is so important that you do this because you're literally bringing the energies of heaven to earth. This is why these folks need to get, get on out of the way. Okay, They need to get out of the way because this is a big deal. They may not see it as a big deal because they may not be in, in tune with their divine selves. So they can't see the divinity in the work. All right, Pope Joan. Pontiff of possibilities. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless, right? This is an energy of so within, so without, right? Seven of cups, which is all about confusion. You know, what do I do? What can I do? Are my dreams really accessible? Is this a pipe dream or pipe dream? Let me use my logical mind. Is this even something worth doing? Yes, it is. Whatever you're envisioning in your head, you're going to get it, Capricorn. I understand the seeds of doubt have been planted by these, well, this one well-meaning person, this other one I don't really know about. I honestly don't even want to get into that energy. Um, you'll know what that's about. But yeah, you're about to create something big. Something beautiful that's going to help humanity. Go for it. And remember that that resistance is just a projection of what's going on inside of you. Okay. Going into tea leaf. It's my favorite deck. I mean, I love them all, but. All right. The candle. You will be shown the way, All right? This is divinely orchestrated here with this judgment card, All right? This Mary Magdalene, this bridge of heaven and earth, you are being angelically, specifically angelically guided. The man, dealings or relationship with a man, okay? The pig, beware of greed. Okay, I'm getting this Empress energy because Empress Upright is all about luxury, money, royalty. Um, but because this energy is in the reverse, I, I do feel like there is an energy around you that I didn't really want to get into just because the energy is yucky. But I guess I'm going into it now. There's somebody who's greedy here, right? Somebody well-intentioned, somebody greedy. Now, this could be a man, right? Empress energy doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. It can just be a feminine energy. Although I do feel like most of you were talking about two separate people, right? That we're talking about, you'll find, you'll be shown the way on how to deal with this man, this masculine energy here. But there's a very greedy energy. So somebody who's in opposition of the work that you're doing is doing it out of a place of greed, happiness. You're moving towards your happiness. And then we have victory. Victory in some endeavor. Nine of cups. Whatever it is that you're working on, you got it. It's already done. Right? I'm getting that in, in the fourth, fifth dimension. It's already created. It's just a matter of bridging it. Right? With this Mary Magdalene, I am the bridge of heaven and earth. It's just a matter of grounding it. And there's some resistance here which is a good thing. That's always, always a clue that what you're manifesting is about to come through. 
in a very big way, in a very powerful way that isn't just going to help and affect you and yours. It's going to affect a lot of people. You'll be shown the way, especially within this connection with this man. Beware of greedy people around you. You know, we did get a lot of swords energy here. Don't be afraid to cut somebody off. Don't be afraid, okay? I know nobody likes to see anybody in that energy. But you might have to come up against somebody and take their sword. Especially if they're pointing it at you. All right. I think that's all I have for you, Capricorn. If these messages resonated, please like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel. If you are looking for personal or private readings, you can find my email address in the description box below. And until we meet again, namaste.